So Mike's presented today for the owners to do a complete semen evaluation. And the thing is, when we have dogs that have never been artificially collected, some of the dogs will or will not perform. And it's one of those things we don't know until we try. The benefit for Mike, he's a seasoned breeder. He has bred multiple times. Our hope is today with some stimulation, he'll achieve a good erection and will go through the motion and ejaculate for us. One of the problems we see with um, some of these dogs that come in is, for example, if they've not been artificially collected like we're going to do today and the clients want to have semen shipped to Seattle tomorrow for a breeding, the dogs won't function. So we have some dogs that come in here that have never been bred that need couple of visits to kind of train them as to what we want. We also have dogs that come in that have been bred multiple times, but not artificially, and they don't want to participate in the process. This is called a cell counter, a spermacue. And if you can see really close, this is called a cuvette, and my fingernail will slide into the end of that. There's a little opening. So whoever wants to video this may want to come real close, and I'll put my eyes on again so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to again redistribute the sperm and then I'm going to put so much of this and it fills up that little crater, wipe off the excess fluid. This machine will count the sperm. A little bit about semen quality and the working dog. I had a Labrador Retriever that was a field dog in training and when he was out in the box trucks they got really hot they weren't cleaning those boxes real well they were using bleach and the bleach caused irritation to the scrotum scrotal dermatitis inflammation on the outside of the skin affects what's inside the skin and when he was training his semen quality was always subpar in his off training months his semen was pretty good then we noticed that one time he came in and his semen was totally dead 100% and I recommended, they were doing water training, that they monitor his temperature after doing water retrieves. And they would do 20 retrieves and his temperature was 105.5. That fried his testicles, killed everything. They're 14. So the bottom line is there's so many variables. Are you breeding her at the right time? Uh, is the semen good? Where are you putting the semen? And what's her uterine health look like? Because it is possible, I'm going to say that we have two bitches here. Each one ovulates 10 eggs. The semen is great. The breeding technique is great. The timing is perfect. Now, we inseminated both bitches. This one got all 10 eggs fertilized. 